Now we are going to find potential to spherical shell and solid sphere. Spherical shell means mass is distributed only over the surface. Whereas in solid sphere, mass is distributed over the whole volume. Right? So first of all, let's find potential to spherical shell. Right? So let's take a spherical shell of mass m and radius r. So suppose this is spherical shell of uh, mass m and radius is r. All right. So here we will be finding potential to a spherical shell of mass m and radius r using the relation between the potential and gravitational field from infinity to point P. P is the point where you want to find potential. P is the point where you want to find potential. See, we have already got G as a function of R for the spherical shell. G used to be 0 for point inside and equals to GM where M is the mass of spherical shell. Uh, let's write it capital M. GM by R square ER for R given capital R. Right? That's the uh, gravitational field that we have found using Gauss law of gravitation. Using Gauss law of gravitation. Now, if I want to find potential at any point outside, suppose P is the point lying at a distance of R and let's take case 1 where this R is given the capital R. Then potential is going to be work done in bringing 1 kg of mass from infinity to point P such that that 1 kg mass is never accelerated. So we can use this and based on this definition we have got this formula G dot dr. So outside G is given by minus GM by R square ER dot DR from infinity to R. All this is equal to GM by and ER dot DR is DR from infinity to R. So if you integrate it, this is minus gm by r with minus gm by r. So that's the potential at any point outside. That's the potential at any point outside. Now, let's find the potential. So this is potential for r given the capital R. On the surface, If R is capital R, so your potential is minus GM by capital R. So that's the potential inside. Now, if I want to find potential at a point P inside, suppose. Suppose you want to find potential at this point where R is less than capital R. Where R is less than capital R. Suppose you want to find potential at point P inside. So in that case, what will happen? If I use this formula, I'll describe this mathematically also and physics wise also. Now, journey from infinity to point P has to be broken into two parts: infinity to the surface and surface to interior point. The journey from infinity to point P will be broken into two parts, infinity to surface and surface to point P. Mathematically why it is important? Because the value of G has got different expression. The expression of G is different from infinity to surface and surface to point P. From infinity to surface, your G is this. From infinity to surface, your G is different and from surface to interior point your G is going to be different.
from surface to interior point this g is 0 and from infinity to surface this g is minus gm by r square er dot dr right. so this is going to be and er dot dr is dr just integrate it you will get gm by capital R y at which is same as potential on surface why is it so it is because see when you are I defined the potential definition of potential was work done in potential at any point P due to given mass distribution is work done in bringing 1 kg mass from infinity to that point so when you when you bring 1 kg mass from infinity to surface you need to do work because that 1 kg mass is getting attracted in this direction so now to keep it in equilibrium you have to apply force in this direction right but when you come from surface to interior when your 1 kg mass is here this 1 kg mass is not experiencing any force from the sphere so you can show so your external force which you have to apply is also zero in order to bring it quasi statically in order to bring it quasi statically in order to bring it from surface to interior point you don't have to apply any force because that one kg mass is not experiencing any force from the spherical shell so you don't have to apply any force and hence you don't have to do any work in bringing the body of one kg from surface to interior point in bringing one kg mass from surface to interior, interior point you don't have to do any work you don't have to do any work so in that case the work done in bringing the body from surface to interior point is zero so whatever work was done and whatever work was to be done it was to be done till surface so work done in bringing the 1 kg mass from infinity to any interior point is same as work done in bringing that body from infinity to surface so potential at any point inside is same as potential on the surface right that's why potential at any point inside the spherical shell is same as potential which you have on the surface right so you must remember this thing potential at any point inside is minus gm by capital R and potential at any point outside is minus gm by R where R is distance from point B from the center ok you understand this point now let us find potential to solid sphere let us find potential to solid sphere Suppose this is solid sphere, alright. Having radius say r and say mass m, and now we have to find potential. We have to find potential, right? So here also we have already found g. G was what for point inside. At point inside, the potential was g m by r cube. R E R for point inside and it was equal to G M by R square E R outside. For R equal to R here also I can say greater than equal to for R equal to R both of the term will give you same answer. Right? So this was the potential this was sorry not potential gravitational field sorry this was gravitational field we already found it using uh, Gauss law of gravitation we already found it by using Gauss law of gravitation so now we want to find potential so let's find potential at a point P outside first so R is capital R case 1 so potential at any point outside is going to be again same thing from infinity to point P and then you put the value of G Gm by R square Er dot dr so that will give you what Gm by R square Er dot dr is dr from infinity to point P point P say at a distance of R so this is going to be minus Gm by R this is so this is the potential outside V is on the surface 
you can just put r equals to capital r and potential is minus j by r now let's find potential inside so potential inside is again same formula gdl and this uh, g is g is gravitational field now the journey from infinity to point p see now your point p is inside now your point p lies inside so journey from infinity to point p has to be broken into two part from infinity to surface and surface to interior why is it so because the expression of gravitational field is different you have read in integration that uh, if I given a function f if I given an integral so I have to integrate it from 1 to 4 when I say f is x from this and x square from 2 to 4 if your integral assumes a different expression in different different part of domain in that case you break the domain from x equal to 1 to x equal to 4 into 2 1 to 2 and 1 to sorry 2 to 4 why because from 1 to 2 f has got this expression and from 2 to 4 f has got this expression similarly this g has got different expression for uh, infinity to capital r and sorry infinity to capital r it is this expression and from capital r to interior point is this expression so we have to break it and we have to integrate it from infinity to point p so infinity to point p has to be broken into infinity to surface and then from surface to interior point this is how we can do all right so this is From infinity to surface, and this is from surface to interior point. So, uh, yes, yeah. So this is minus minus will become plus infinity to r is gm by r square e r dot d r is d r e r dot d r is d r and the r to interior point so this we already solved and this will be gm by r cube is r square by 2 integral will be r square by 2 so let's put 2 over here is it not you can put it like this that is gm by r yes yeah. okay so we can put it like this we can put it like this in fact this is capital R we can still simplify it gm by capital R plus gm by 2r cube or I can take common this gm by r cube say 2r cube and uh, what will be left 2r square minus r square plus r square so that is gm by 2r cube 3r square minus r square that's the potential all right so that is the potential due to solid sphere this is for point inside and this is the potential for point outside let me write it potential due to solid sphere is minus gm by 2r cube 
3 r square r square and this so we have found potential to famous bodies we have found potential to ring due to this due to uh, your solid sphere and then spherical shell okay so i'll stop over here